and program assistant with the Ohio State University South Centers. Today we have guest um, Brad Bass here with Business Matters. Um, Brad is the director of uh, Small Business Development Center here at the South Centers, and today we're going to kind of talk about, um, I call it a video bio, talk about yeah. your history, your education, and things such as that um, that help you with um, your position here. Okay. Well, thanks, about well, thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, well, I've, I've been here with the uh, OSU South Centers for a little over 22 years now. Uh, I've just served in a wide uh, range of different job functions and job titles. Uh, but most recently, for the past 13 years, I've been with the Small Business Development Center. So um, it really all started out with, with myself uh, in my education. I'm a, a graduate here locally in Pike County of Eastern High School. And from there on, I went to college at Shawnee State University here in Southern Ohio. Um, I grew up on a, a family farm where I, I still live. Uh, so staying close to home was, was very important to me. Uh, being part of uh, the, the family, the local community, um, part of our small business that we have with the farm uh, kind of made me want to stay close to home, and that's why I chose Shawnee. Uh, my degree at Shawnee State University was Plastics Engineering Technology. Uh, something I'm really driven by and very mechanically minded and, and things like that. You know, production kind of activities kind of uh, spurred me on and, and drew my interest to that program. So that's what I decided to measure in. Uh, along with that program, there was a lot of uh, math, science, background, a lot of classes that I took in those. So, you know, I completed my four-year program there at Shawnee, and from that point, you know, I guess, you know, when we graduate from college and or high school, it's time to really get a job, right? That's what our next function is after that. That's, that's what we're looking for when we do that. Anyway, so, but anyway, um, after my degree in uh, engineering technology with the plastics program, I uh, started looking for jobs here in, in Southern Ohio, and at that time, uh, opportunities were very limited for jobs within that degree here in the region without relocating. Of course, you know, I had deep roots here in Southern Ohio to family, to the community, to personal business, so moving away really was a very difficult option. So the opportunity uh, came for me to come here to the South Centers and uh, get a job, and there was a, a position open, uh, not in plastics, but in the uh, Soil and Water Resources Program here, right. um, which, you know, I, ha I had a science background with college, with education there, a lot of chemistry and science. Um, so I got a job collecting soil samples here at the South Centers, uh, working on agricultural research projects, which, you know, I kind of had a skilled background in that where I grew up on a family farm and I've always farmed and understood, you know, general production practices and how to get things done with crops. So those two things kind of meshed together, uh, created a good opportunity for me to begin my professional career here at the South Centers as a, uh, a research assistant within that program. So worked out really well for me. Uh, worked with the Soil and Water Program for three years here at the South Centers. Uh, then the opportunity became available that within Pike County they were looking for an agricultural extension or a, a 4-H extension agent within that program at the, with OSU. So I thought, well, you know, I've always been a lifelong 4-H member, applied for that job, and was selected to be the Pike County 4-H agent on a two-year part-time term while, while someone else who was serving in that role was out doing uh, some grant work on another position. So I was the Pike County 4-H agent for two years. Uh, the grant funding that my predecessor was operating on to do some other programming had expired, so that position then kind of went away, and an opportunity to work here at the South Centers again, you know, reemerged. Uh, that was back in around 2000 uh, when they started working with some of the berry crops, which right now, if you've seen a lot of the programs here about the South Centers, they pro focus a lot on uh, berry production, uh, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. Lots of different berries. Lots of different berries. So that's when that whole initiative started with the berries. 
So I came back here to South Centers and started working in agricultural research, but this time focused with the berry production. So, you know, I did that for two or three years. Uh, and then after that, my focus kind of shifted back into the soil and water programs that we have here. So I worked with them uh, up until 2005. Uh, when I was approached by one of the program leaders at the South Centers within the business program, said, hey, you know, have you ever considered, you know, moving over to the business side of the program? So, yeah, so I moved at that time, uh, applied for, and was selected to be a, a member of the business team as a business counselor with the Small Business Development Center. Funny how things come around. It is. Come back to it kind of all yeah, runs full circle <laughs> and just right. kind of a continuous thing, steps and steps and yeah. steps, and then you get to, get to a certain point. So, so that worked out pretty good for me. Very nice. So. What's your favorite part of your job? Just working with the small businesses that we help and, you know, seeing them achieve success. I can see that because you kind of have a vested interest being from Pike, or Pike County and a resident. And went to school close, so mm -hmm. I can see where you have an interest in success, local success. Right. Definitely. You know, when you, we, we meet with a lot of individuals who are looking to start their own business, uh, you know, and we work with them through that process of understanding what they really do want to do, uh, what's involved, what are the costs, what are some of the milestones that they're going to have to achieve to be successful. And then, you know, sometimes. When, when people come to us, they think, well, it's just it's simple to start. You know, just once we get started, things will happen, we'll make money, we'll be successful. But there's a lot of other things that are involved along the way. And we work with those individuals and try to explain to them how important it is to have a thorough plan before they start. It's taking every time. <laughs> right. And, and, and to play out some different scenarios of what might happen or what might need to be done. To make sure that you know they've examined all of the potential pitfalls that might happen along the way, you know the what if scenarios. What if you know we we get started on the project and we're out of money? How can we deal with that six months into the business operation? And what are our options? Uh, and and hope that some of those things don't happen, but at least you know we've thought about it before we get there, yeah. and we make sure that we're making the right decision for our business. And for ourselves, and for our family, and that's the thing about a small business. You know, there's a lot of stakes whenever you start a small business, and that you want to make sure, you know, you're prepared. And a lot of times, you have to invest a lot of your own personal money to start a business, and we just want to make sure that that's the right thing to do. And a lot of times, you know, if you're wanting to, to borrow money or get a loan, it's your house. That you're going to have to put up for collateral to get the money. Yeah, the game, yeah. So, exactly. So, uh, making sure that's really what you want to do and that you're will, really willing to risk that to start the business. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Well, um, we're going to take a break here, and um, when we come back, we'll, we'll uh, see a clip, a video clip, a short clip of one of our clients that we've worked with um, in the past. Welcome back to Business Matters. We are here with Brad Bass, the Small Business Development Center Director. Brad, we have a brief video of one of our clients um, that we're going to play. Uh, it's Lorraine Walker, um, the owner of Silverbridge Coffee Company um, near Gallup List. Lorraine, she worked with the Small Business De Development Center, I think, with several counselors and over many years. So yeah, she's worked with about all the different counselors we've had here at the South Centers on many different aspects of her operation, depending on what her current need was at the time. So, Lorraine is just an example of, uh, of how people can work with a small business development center and, and need many different things uh, to help out their company along the journey. Not just starting their business, but once you get started, to grow to one step. And then you have other issues that arise along your, your journey from business ownership. So, then you need to address another problem. And then you'll need to address another problem. So, uh, Lorraine's really a good, uh, a, a good example, I guess you can say, of how uh, we have many different skill sets within our business team 
to how that's a client that's been able to utilize every one of those different skills because we've had those needs mm-hmm. develop along the way. So, so really I'm exciting sure. stories uh, yeah. for coming. It's a, a couple minutes um, video you can take a look at. Tucked in the hills of Gallia County is a gem that will make your mouth water. Chocolate caramel cream, cinnamon sticky bun, dark chocolate cherry. These delicious delights can wrap you in comfort as you start your day. They are part of the pleasurable experience surrounding Silver Bridge Coffee. We were lucky if we sold 10 bags a week and now we roast somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds weekly. This family-owned business continues to grow, adding jobs and fueling the local economy. They represent what any entrepreneur can do with hard work and dedication. Lorraine used the resources of the small business development centers in Piketon to help grow her business from the laundry room in her house to the roasting facility, now home to Silverbridge Coffee. We've worked very closely with them um, through the course of the last six to seven years, um, calling on them for um, advice. You're their biggest cheerleader, you know, to continue them going down that that path of success. Um, But you try to keep them aware of what may impact that success along the road. While the end product appears effortless, to achieve these smooth and complex flavors, they leave nothing to chance. Like a fine wine, the coffee at Silver Bridge is selected, sampled, and swirled to ensure first-class flavor with every cup. Silver Bridge Coffee is one of 400 businesses helped by the Small Business Development Center at the OSU South Centers in Piketon. This SBDC is ready to help businesses, big or small, in their 10-county area that stretches from Gallipolis to Brown County. When we see a, a client go from starting their business to success, that is the most rewarding feeling that we have as a a consultant when we work with a company. You know, Brad, I get an opportunity to interview some of the great clients that you all work with. I did have an opportunity to interview um, Lorraine, and when she began her business, or before she even kind of grew it into a real company, she roasted um, coffee in a popcorn popper, That's just true. as a hobby. Yeah. So just to give um, gifts to friends and um, relatives at the time, she loved it so much. She talked about going to school and learning about the industry, and for like a year, she was really dedicated to um, learning about the industry. Um, she studied, she joined um, industry associations. Um, she was very devoted to her craft. And then she opened her business in 2008, um, the facility, and went, uh, I think, to farmer's market to sell initially, um, and then expanded into a new facility, and now she's in over 100 major um, grocery stores. Um, she's in Giant Eagle, Kroger's, Whole Foods, um, or in different locations around Ohio. Um, she even won some awards for her coffee. Um, have you ever had it? Yeah. It is so smooth. I mean, oh, it is just the yeah, best yeah. coffee. Yeah. Um, in 2014, one of the awards was um, given to her in Seattle, Washington, at a competition um, as one of the top six choices in the competition. It was a national competition. Pretty amazing. I mean, some of the things she's done. Uh, she offers whole beans and ground beans. She says the whole are the best because they're the freshest. You can ground them right in the right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, she offers espresso, um, other signature blends. I have to say my favorite, one of my favorites, is the Jamaican Me Crazy. Mm-hmm. She has the cutest names, too. She's really developed that product right. line with the names. Good so, yeah. Yeah. Um, the butterscotch rum one is really good. I bet you like the Buckeye breakfast. I, I do. Because it's really yeah, dark. I'm and more of a kind of a plain <laughs> coffee kind of a guy. Not too many, like, pretty flavors. But, yeah. I, but some of those are really good, though. I mean, they just have a, a light hint of some of the flavors, which really bring out the, the taste. Yeah, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I like hers. It's, right. There's no bitter aftertaste like you think of, you know, coffee being sometimes. Right. But, but, yeah, I think we have her um, website also, silverbridgecoffee.com. If you want to go on there and take a look, there's a lot of uh, great information on there um, about where you can buy and how you can buy. She packages things that you can join um, a club to get um, groups of coffees. I know I've given gifts of coffee to different friends from her, and they, and they love it. They really do. 
Um, and this just this is just one um, example of some of the great clients we work with. What other things um, do people talk about? I mean, what help did she need, maybe? Well, right, yeah. And, and Lorraine is a, a great example of, you know, of what we really see as kind of the model client of our small business development center. Uh, Lorraine, like I said, has been, she opened her business in 2008, and that's when she started working with us at that time. Uh, you know, she was, like I said, she was roasting a popcorn popper. Well, she started out in just a single room in her house doing that. And she met with one of our counselors about starting the business. I believe she met with Patrick Bingham uh, initially. And he kind of got the ball rolling uh, with her and got things started. Uh, she then expanded production because it you know, got kind of popular and she needed more space. So then she moved into a garage and started operating the business out of there. So, you know, we, we worked with her through the, the business planning part. And, of course, uh, she, she got to the point where the garage was not there. She needed more space. Okay, so then we talk about a whole other set of problems. What am I going to do? How am I going to find a facility and a roaster big enough to move to the next level? Well, you know, usually if you're talking about building a place of your own, that's kind of custom set up for what you want to do, you're going to need to get a loan. And along with that loan, you know, you need to put a supportive business plan in place. So those are a couple of things that our small business development center helps with learning. You know, the business plan, uh, you know, thoroughly examining all the different things you need to do, along with uh, the financial projection for the business operation of this town. You know, kind of justify the money that you need to invest in the operation to build the building, to buy the equipment, to run the operation. You know, that's what lenders want to see. They want to know that you understand all the expenses that are involved and what the potential income from this business are going to be. And at the end of the day, what's really important to the bankers is that you're going to pay your loan back. And that's what they want to know. And they want to feel comfortable that your business is going to be able to service that debt. So, you know, we worked with Lorraine, you know, took the information that she had. She knows her business. She knows what she can do. And she has a good plan. But we helped her craft that into a business plan and supporting financial information. And she was also able to apply for some grant funding through the Southern Ohio Community Development Foundation that we have here locally. Didn't she also compete in our, one of our uh, pitcher yeah, plans? Business plan right. competition. Yeah, she was a, a participant one and of those and yeah. got some funding. Mm-hmm. So she was able to take all that, put it together, uh, get a bank loan, get some grant funding, and construct building that she now does all of her daily operations on. So, you know, we helped her to achieve that goal and to get to that point. So, you know, then what happens? You know, you've got everything set up. Well, you need to continually grow your business. So, you know, we helped her with some different marketing projects that she worked on uh, about expanding the market. So, you know, was able to, to move into some of the Columbus areas and into the Kroger stores and the Whole Foods and Giant Eagles and things like that that you mentioned earlier. Uh, but not only that, you know, the coffee market's kind of changed in the last five to ten years. Uh, cool, we've gone into these pay cuts. So Lorraine saw a great opportunity to expand into that market and, and to pull some of that market share. So she got into the K-Cup program. So, you know, our manufacturing assistance program that we have here with our small business development center actually worked with Lorraine on the process of, you know, production of the data, you know, measuring it out, dealing the cups, you know, how does that all work, how does that process work, how can we automate this process. Right. So we worked with her and helped her get production on those data cups up to where she could package and display those alongside her, you know, her, her ground and, and bean coffee. And sell those, and, and you know, reach those customers that are looking for those single serve market as well. So it's pretty neat mm-hmm. how it works. So there's an example of, of how a lot of different needs the company has along the way, and our small business development center is able to work with them on each and every one of them. Well, I think it's great that you eliminate some problems along the way too. Things that mistakes they may have made, you have already dealt them through the hoop right. to get past them. Right. And, and there's a lot of, 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 of individuals that contact us for assistance uh, with, a, with the problems that they've encountered that we're like, why, you know, 
we wish you would have just contacted us <laughs> a month ago before you did this. Yeah. And we could have easily just saved you this heartache and, and some of this problem that you're dealing with right now. Right. It would have been very simple to, to prevent the problem with just a little bit of time. <laughs> so yeah. that's why we encourage everybody to call us for a little bit of Definitely. Everybody. Right. <laughs> and the thing of it is, you know, our small business development center, we don't know everything. But, you know, we like to think that we're very well connected to Southern Ohio and to the Ohio State University. And we can bring in a lot of other resources other than just us. And that's where the strength lies uh, within our network. So. And our program is the SPBC um, Small Business uh, Services, 10 counties in yeah, Southern Ohio. Here in Southern Ohio. Our services are free of charge to anybody that, that wants us. Yeah. You know, we're, we're here to help you. Thank you, Brad. We really appreciate your time today. Well, thanks, thanks for having me on. And I'm Kimberly saying see you next time. <laughs>